When shooting HDR, you may find yourself dealing with a moving subject. Maybe it's a blowing flag or a tree branch or someone walking through the scene. And as the brackets are merged together, this can result in ghosts, partially low opacity copies that appear multiple times. But Aurora HDR makes it easy to remove these. Let's choose to invoke a new merge. File Open. And I'll navigate to a series of images here. In this case, it's a boat floating. And if you look at the different brackets, you'll notice that the flag on the mast is moving. Well, as expected, it's a windy day. So what I want to do is cut down on that. I'll select the range of images and click Open. Now, I was shooting from a stable position here, but water's involved, so I'm going to choose Auto Alignment to be safe. And from the Settings menu here, let's enable Ghost Reduction. Now, what you need to do is pick which image you want to use for the ghost. In this case, I see several different choices, and I think the one here that's labeled plus one, this base image here, looks pretty good. So what I'll do is select that and choose an amount. Now, since the flag is really blowing in the wind, I'm gonna choose highest. That's because there's significant difference between the different images. If it was only minor movement, you can choose a lower strength. Now, click Create HDR. Aurora opens up the images and loads them. With Ghost Reduction, feel free to experiment with different strengths. Usually, I'd start a little bit lower, but in this case, I can really read the scene, and it's obvious that a high value is needed because the flag was blowing so much. There we go. We've got great dynamic range in the entire scene, and no ghosts on the flags or the lines of the ship that might have been bouncing slightly in the wind. Let's go ahead and get a good exposure here. I'm going to bring Smart Tone down just a little bit. And Contrast up. Looks good. Let's recover those highlights just a little bit. But pop the white point. And you can think of this 32-bit image as really a super raw file giving you a lot of flexibility to recover shadows and highlights, as well as roll in some contrast. I like that. Under color, I'm also going to introduce some color contrast, which puts in some richness into the colors by adding some black to really increase their depth. From the HSL controls, I'm going to affect the sky here. From the luminance, let's pull down the blues just to darken the sky ever so slightly. And the aquas, that looks good there, just a little less. And bump up the saturation of the blue. While I'm at it, I'm going to also bring out the orange there for the boat, but tone down the yellows slightly. And you see great flexibility. For example, the ability to change the color of the orange ever so slightly. That looks good. In this case, we have a very photorealistic image. There's not a lot of texture added to this one because we did not bring out the details in the HDR. But I am going to take advantage of the polarizing filter, which further helps with the glare. And you see that that also does a very nice job of bringing back some of the details in the sky and the water. Looks great. Let's come over here to Tone Curve and just do a classic S curve. I'm going to bring the shadows down a little bit and ever so slightly pop the highlights. Looks good. I really like where that's going. I'm just gonna back off the color contrast slightly and tone down the vibrance just a little. All right, if we compare that to the original image, to the new image, it's amazing how much details come back. And this is the true advantage of shooting a bracketed photo. Brackets can just show you so much more information and the 32-bit image is able to bring out all the details. But with options like ghost removal, the bobbing boat and the blowing flag and these lines that were shaking in the wind are totally rock solid. Yet we can still take advantage of all that HDR has to offer.